hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a juicer comparison of the hurum 400 juicer and the nama j2 juicer these brands are well known to be one of the best brands in the juicing world and the price points of both are very similar so i thought it would be good to compare the two to help you pick a good juicer to go for for either you or yourself and your family so i hope you guys enjoy so just to get pricing out the way, both juicers are very, very similar in price. Depending on what currency you're using, they can be either a little bit cheaper or just a little bit more expensive. But make sure you stay till the end of the video as I have a cheeky discount code for you guys if you wanna buy one of the juicers. So both juicers, as I said, are very similar in components and quality. So I want you guys to tell me at the end of the video which juicer you will end up going for in the comment section. So starting off with assembly, the Huru 400 juicer is easy to assemble. It comes with a strainer free chamber. What this basically means is that the juicer doesn't come with a physical strainer. This is because the strainer is embedded in the chamber. So this means less parts, which also means less mess, which also means less cleaning. The pulp collector is located at the back of the machine. Most juicers don't have this unique design. So the Nama J2 juicer is similarly just as easy to assemble. However, unlike the Hurum 400, it does come with a few more parts. The juicer comes with a strainer, which means you're getting as much juice as possible from your produce, which is obviously a great win. The juicer also comes with a pulp jar as well as a juice jar. The Huron 400 does also come with a cup, but I just didn't show it on camera. The Nama J2 juicer does have a few more components and it does take up a little bit more space than the Huron 400 juicer. So the design is not as sleek as the Huron 400, but the juicer itself still works just as great. So the Huron 400 comes with a reasonably sized hopper. This is basically a self-feeding juicer, which means that you don't have to go through the effort of chopping your fruits and vegetables by yourself. All you have to do is put the fruits and vegetables in the hopper, close the lid, and the juicer does most of the work for you. The blades inside the hopper chops your produce so you can walk away and come back to a full jug of juice. Unlike most juicers on the market that require you to chop your produce, both the Huron 400 and the Nama J2 don't require such work from their consumers. The juicers literally do all the work for you. You can put in some fruits and vegetables whole. The hopper on the Nama J2 is a little bit bigger than the hopper on the Hurum 400, but they have very, very similar designs and they work just as great as each other. So let's put them to the test. Today I am making a watermelon, papaya and pomegranate juice. I also added some ginger for some anti-inflammatory benefits as well as some key limes to remove any mucus from my body. So I'm loading both juices the same. They have a very similar sized hopper. However, like I mentioned before, the Nama J2 hopper is slightly bigger than the Hurum 400 hopper. So here is my produce in both juices before I start the juicer. They allow me to fit in a lot of produce. As I said before, you can put in some fruits and vegetables whole in the juicers. Also, just in case I didn't mention before, my Hurum 400 juicer is newer than my Nama J2 juicer. I've had my Nama J2 juicer for coming up to two years now, hence it looking a little bit more beat up than the Hurum 400, but it still works really, really good despite it being a little bit older. Both juicers are also quieter than most juices on the market to give you an idea of the sound here is what they both sound like After a close analysis, I found that the Hurum H400 does chop and slice just that little bit faster than the Nama J2 juicer. So the Hurum 400 wins with timing by slight seconds. However, the Nama J2 juicer does give you extremely dry pulp. I have never ever had an issue of a wet pulp with the juicer and I've been using it for over, well, nearly two years. So having dry pulp is very important for a good juicer as it means that the juicer is able to squeeze as much juice as possible from your produce, which means you're getting most of the nutrients and vitamins that are beneficial from juicing. In comparison to the Hurum H400, the pulp is not not as dry you guys can see a little bit of liquid at the bottom so when it comes to pulp the Nama J2 juicer in this comparison does give you the best results 
as you guys can see both juicers are grinding the produce in the hopper really well they're both yielding a good amount of juice at a reasonable time a lot quicker than most juices on the market which means they are a great investment for batch juicing not only are they a great investment for batch juicing if you have a family they are also a great way to introduce a healthier lifestyle to your family without the fuss of cooking so i don't know if you noticed i kept wiping off the tap of the Hurum 400 in comparison to the nama j2 juicer once the tap is closed it is closed and no juice is coming out of it however with the Hurum h400 i found that even after you close the tap there is a little bit of drip left on the juicer which means you constantly have to wipe it so that's just a tiny flaw that i noticed but it doesn't really affect much Aside from that, they are pretty much the same. Both juicers have a very similar price point and both juicers are self-feeding. Not only that, they are great for families or anyone who wants to get into a healthier lifestyle and wants to invest in a really, really good juicer that's going to last them years. When it comes to the price, a lot of people are put off, but I can attest to you that ever since I got my Nama J2 juicer, which is very similar to the Hurum for H400, I have never seen such a change in myself. I literally love juicing and I love healthy food because of my investment in my juicer. I feel like once you start getting into the routine of something, it's very hard to stop, especially when it comes to healthy habits. I would rather have a healthy habit than to have a bad habit. And I find that when it comes to investing in a juicer, it's only gonna encourage you to have a healthy habit. It's not taken away from you. If anything, it is adding better value into your lifestyle, into your body, into your mind, into your soul. And it sounds ridiculous, but it really does help your mental health so this is the amount of watermelon and papaya and pomegranate juice i was able to yield from both juicers if you want an in-depth video of how i consume my juices how i make my juices what i eat in the day i'll leave all those videos in the description box as well as the card so you can have a look but we are going to put these juices to the real test so juicing leafy greens is always something that can be quite hard for most juicers on the market however these juicers are high end and they are designed to chop and grind hard ingredients such as nuts leafy greens and things that normal juicers won't necessarily yield as much juice from as you guys can see i am making my green juice if you want a green juice recipe i'll leave the videos for that down below as well so when making my green juices i did notice that the Nama J2 juicer does yield more juice in my opinion than the Hurum H400 and I found that the juice that was yielded from the Nama J2 juicer was a lot smoother than the juice of the Hurum H400. Also the pulp as usual on the Nama J2 juicer is very very dry and it is able to yield a lot of juice. So the pulp for the Hurum H400 was surprisingly just as dry as the Nama. So when it comes to green juices the Hurum H400 is a good juicer for green juices however I found that the Nama is just that little bit better. I find that if you really really know your juices then you would know exactly what I mean but for an average person it's not anything to run away from. I don't think it's anything to deter you from the Room H400, they are just as good as each other. These two juicers solve a lot of the problems that an average juicer doesn't. A problem that I hear quite a lot from people when it comes to juicing is the cleaning process. So when it comes to cleaning, both juicers are very, very quick, easy, and simple. Most of the time, it only takes a rinse to clean them out. You can, of course, use soap, and they are both dishwasher friendly. The only thing that's gonna make cleaning difficult is if you leave your juicer over time without cleaning it. So the only way to solve the cleaning problem is to clean your juicers as soon as you use them, and all it takes is a quick rinse. So based on today's comparison, which juicer will you go for? Will you go for the Hurum 400, or would you go for the Nama J2? Let me know down below in the comments. If you do end up going for the Hurum H400, which I think is a great choice, I have got some great news for you. So Hurum have been kind enough to give me a discount code, especially for my subscribers. So if you would like £50 off the juicer, make sure you use the discount code on the screen right now at checkout to get £50 off this amazing investment. You definitely would never ever regret getting a juicer. It is such a staple 
staple in your kitchen and it is a great investment for not just you but also your family so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you got something out of it i hope it was helpful if you're looking for a juicer and you don't know which one to go for as always i'll have all the information in the description box as well as the discount code that i mentioned for the Hurum juicer thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you guys soon in another video bye guys Mwah.